Get that? See here, pose, pose both hands. So both hands, one hand of mine is controlling two hands. Understood? And then I can go and grab and, and control. busy with him, he will see me, he will follow me. But as I'm not with him, well, he can do whatever he wants to. I just go anywhere, wherever he whenever he attacks, I'm there. Close to him, but not in reach of the sword. Not good to do it like this. You see, this is far too much under the danger, because you can change. You have to be in the range of his hands, not the range of the sword. So it has to be here like that, for example. That's all right. Now, you don't have to use any technique. You can just step there. That's all right. Wrongly is if I'm before that, I move. So, no any move. Okay, now he saw me. He could think where I would be. Now, here you see it's in the range of the sword. So, always your move is enter the out, out of range of sword, or in the range of hands. This hand, okay. Now, in this, we have a, also this. We are very much armed. This is the first one. Second one is this one. And third one, inside. Right? And for every one of them, there is a counter. The counters are not so important, but we can just now a little bit practice them. He holds strongly. Yeah. You see this one. All right. So not to hurt one another. Just uh, next one is this one here. This one here. All right, here. Go ahead, practice. It. So as he's attacking me, one here. Push that. You, you're that strong. Okay, here. All right. This is here where you stop it. You can also have it over your head, your helmet or whatever you have. Why? Because then it's all connected to your body. You cannot drop, you need to disconnect. And then it's the moment you're grabbing. And then here. Alright? Don't want to be tough. I'll be gentle. But here as he's attacking. Alright? Go ahead. So as he's attacking, I move towards him. And if he stops somewhere, wherever he stops, I'm waiting for Now, where does the cut go? Cut today, when they do uh, kendo, they hit only very superficial. They, in the past, they used to <coughs> cut till here. But if you do kendo, so you are hitting just somewhere in the head, it's not really aiming. Why they do it? To be more fast. But it takes away the efficiency. Why? They don't need the efficiency. They go by points. But with a real fight, if you want to cut somebody, you have to move your body behind it, and you have to cut down. As he's attacking, I would mm, go there. I will go into this one. That's the second technique. And then from here, you go over the second one. All right? So uh, that's the second technique. And you want to stab in here, very closely. You can use the helmets mm -hmm. to, to enter into the eyes of the opponent. And then cut him down. So this is in time of your own, your time of weapons. Okay? Good. Third one is, let's do the first, the second. Yeah, that, mm -hmm. see here, pulls, pulls both hands. So both hands, one hand of mine is controlling two hands. Understood? And then I can go and grab him and control. And then I can go and grab from here. All right. So the back of the sword. At all, he just used to grab. And if I cannot move, I'm on snow or whatever, I'm on bolt. I need to grab. It's all right. But as long as you're not cutting it. Also, if you take a real sword, close the bow, cut it. Yeah, it's difficult. It won't work. It won't go. 
There's a reason. We only got it. So as he's attacking here, I move towards him, and my hands are actually connecting with two hands. There. All right? Do it accurately. One. Nice. Yeah. Okay. Good. All right. And then also, when you do that, you just show you another little point. See that part? And then here, see, so you want to get it attached to the body. Why? Because this hand is defended. Yeah, there is no reason for him not to lift the sword and to punch or to take another weapon. So you want to grab it, you want to take it attached with you. And then you want to continue on. But if he grabs, this is by itself is the hate. Okay, so do the hate correct. Let's just see it as he grabs. Up and back here. Okay, very much like this. this. You, you remember this technique, huh? So here. But now we don't do it really like that, we do it with the soul. So we are here. Okay, sorry. Thank you. So it's used with the dagger. It's a it's an old samurai technique actually that ninja use. So you, if you have a lot dashi, that's the moment you stick it in. You go under. You go that you are stepping over the toes. I don't want to hurt you. Just land over his toes. And then that, and then that, and cut it. Okay? It was used with a dagger. A <laughs> knife. It's a long knife. Is this clear? So you are <coughs> going down. Just like that. leaning and stepping out. I have one. one last one. But it uh, can be also mutodori. Let's see. Let's see. You don't have to. We now learn it in Tordori because this is what's needed in the test. In the test, you're not supposed to do it with a dagger. And so you say, <laughs> then here, see, this and that. And then you are here. So you are guarding, and then you can grip further on. And. This clear? You are guarding, stabbing in. Yeah, it's a, one here and one there. So this can go on the side of the knee, here, grab, here, see? And back. Go on. Do that.